everyone. It's funny you bring that up because Anthony just interviewed me earlier before we did this together, and it was phenomenal. And, you know, I'm always doing videos of people. It was mm -hmm. phenomenal. And he said this was his first job basically out of college. Yeah, absolutely. And he rose through the ranks. He said he had four business cards because he keeps – just has that edge to want to grow and want to be better. Yeah, and Anthony will work 15 hours a day like a lot of millennials. Um, who will work <laughs> the weekend. There, yeah. No, I mean, I hate to say it. It's I mean, true. And not to be – listen, I, I, I can tell you this, you know. I look at, you know, the woman that will replace me, CJ. She'll be the CEO of the company when I step down. Um, and she started as a project manager here seven years ago and just worked her way up and kept worked her way up. And, you know, when she's ready to be the CEO of this company, when, you know, just some things we got to work on. But outside of that, she'll be fully ready. And then I'll step down probably next year or two. Make sense? So, it's, well, it's in impressive and interesting to me and intriguing someone that's a student of this game of the of understanding how companies evolve positively and not negatively is that you embody that culture you embody that belief that people should be able to rise up the ranks that isn't necessarily a lot of companies and but a lot of companies yeah. fail though because they go bring people so take my sister for example yeah, yeah. jill and she helped me start the company right my sister was working for my brother-in-law delivering coffee right I would put my sister 10 years later up against anyone on pay-per-click throughout the country. Anyone. She's mastered it. Wow. You know, if you love something, you're dedicated to it. To it. And you know, remember, when we started this company, we were fighting for survival. When you're a startup, you're fighting for survival just to make it. Now we're way past that. We're debt-free, over 100-plus employees. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, we're, you're close to 150 or something. Yeah, we're doing very well. But, yeah. you know, but I've never lost that hunger. I'm still here every day. Joe Lynn's here every day. You know, and that's just what you have to be. And that goes down to the rest of our culture. Uh, you know, I don't buy into the work from home as much as you want from home. I know a lot of other companies. That's absolutely not. Because, you know, it just doesn't work. And not that it doesn't work. You might get a good day out of somebody working from home. But what happens if someone just breaks up with their boyfriend or girlfriend or their parent dies or their cat dies? And they just got to be lifted up and feel better. Ah, uh, they just have to be lifted, lifted up. up. I that's like it. that. They just have to feel, well, this is the community that's going to do that for you. And what happens if one of my clients have an emergency? I can't wait and say, hey, listen, Jay's working from home today. Let me, it doesn't, they don't want to hear that. Well, you when I mean? first came to your company, I was extremely impressed that it was open. And that, that open architecture, like the floors are open, it reflects your character. You're open. But everything you're just saying right now is an open mindset. And that is one of the common denominators of actually having cultural alignment is the openness and people showing up and being able to be lifted up.